Do you ever just wish you had everything you needed to be able to teach a lesson and remember all the key things in a lesson in one place? Well, now you can have that. Welcome to Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew and it's my mission to help you build and maintain your system in Notion so that that system works for you rather than you working for it. Hit subscribe and the bell icon and you'll be notified when I'm dropping new videos every single week. Okay, today I'm talking you through my newly updated Today's Lessons dashboard. Okay, this is the dashboard that I have open at the start of every single lesson. It helps me to remind the key things I need to remember in that lesson, but also what I'm teaching, uh, any homeworks I'm setting, collecting in, any other admin I need to remember in that lesson, it's all contained in the one page. I don't need to go anywhere else for it. Resources all linked in there. So keep watching to the very end and you will see exactly how I make sure I remember everything I need to remember in a given lesson, every single lesson of every single day. Let's jump into Notion and get building. Having a look today at my Today's Lessons dashboard here, this one dashboard that has everything, brings everything to the surface that I need to be able to teach my lessons on a given day and do a few other critical jobs associated to those lessons, mainly focusing around homeworks and preps. Okay, so here we are looking at the dashboard. Uh, my little cover image is a mathematical related one simply because I teach maths. My icon is uh, today, the word today, both of those can be changed to anything you could possibly want or need. Um, dashboard is called Today's Lessons, make it very obvious. First thing, I have a bit of a habit myself of forgetting to take a register. So I just want to remind myself right at the very top there to take the register. I've just typed one, a single block, a bit of text, just update the color so that it stands out for me and there it is. Okay, then in uh, toggle menu, toggle is called lessons. Um, I have a view of my period by period planner. Now I've done videos on my period per by period planner before, so I'm not going to go into great detail on that before, uh, detail on that now. But needless to say, I know which period it is in the day. Um, I know which lesson I'm teaching, topic, any key resources that I want to be able to display during the lesson on the board, linked in here. And I've got a way then of tracking um, a few other key aspects fr from that database in this dashboard, okay? Now the dashboard is filtered to show me every lesson or every period where there's a class in the class there's a class listed in the class column um, and the, the date is today. So show me all the lessons that I have today in this view. Okay, moving on down then. I have a, a view of my Google Calendar here. So this is from an Indify widget. Uh, and I'm gonna do a separate video next on, my, on this Indify widget. A super useful way. So I tend to do all of my scheduling in Google Calendar. And then it's nice that I can have a view of that Google Calendar in here in Notion. Okay, show me which lessons I've got and any other key um, appointments that I need to, to remember. Then down to just to the right of my calendar, I want to have a note of which preps. If I've got a bit of spare time, I want to look ahead and set some preps for the rest of the week. Here's another view. The only difference being the filter is that the date is either today or it's within the next week. And that the um, homework due date is empty. So where I've got, I intend to set a homework, but it's not yet set because I haven't set a due date. I can, that will display on that particular view of, of the period by period planner. Then we're looking if I want, because I'm maybe in a lesson and I want to be able to remind the students that their prep is due today, I can jump in here and look at all preps that are actually due tonight, by tonight. 23rd of Feb, I've got this filtered to show me if it's a, a third, fourth or fifth form homework and it's today, or it's a lower sixth homework and it's due today then it displays in here. And finally, 
preps I need to mark. Okay, so this is where the prep due date is in the past. I just need a little bit of updating to do on that particular menu, but that's where the prep due date is in the past, and that's fine. Okay. Then if I'm teaching one of these one of these classes and I want to go into a bit more detail, I can jump in here and I've got all of my classes listed here. Now I, we have looked at this before on my other videos, but here is my synced block, which I'm editing in three other pages. Um, and if you watch my previous video that talked about sync blocks, this is a, a version of, or this is one of the blocks which is synced to those sync blocks. Um, and here we have another view just of the last lesson, the current lesson, and the next lesson I'm teaching for that group. And um, things that I need to remember in every lesson, in lesson actions, where anything that I need to remember. So if you watch my previous video, you'll have seen those reminders. Uh, discipline tracker and homeworks, nothing particularly different in those especially not compare if you've seen my previous videos. So that's in there and I can jump down and those are all the groups that I teach. So if I'm, whatever group I'm teaching, I can jump down and view that information relevant for that particular group. And then finally, if I've got a bit of time during a lesson or outside of lessons and I've got a few things that I need to do, um, I can jump down here and look at my action items for outside of lessons, all listed here according to priority. That's in need of a bit of an update at the moment but you can see that it is there and the filters are set um, to show me the key tasks that I would want to be able to see if I've got a spare five minutes in the day, which is when I'll be using this dashboard, maybe between lessons. And that is it. Okay, I hope that was super useful. Okay, what you're seeing there is the power of Notion to bring everything, all the key information that we need and nothing that we don't and it's by our design. We control what goes on that page on that today's lesson dashboard. If this has been at all helpful, please remember to hit subscribe and the bell icon. You've been watching Notion for Teachers. I'm Andrew, and it's, I'm dropping new videos every single week to help you build and maintain that system in Notion so that system works for you rather than you working for it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.